Hey, need some Madden coins? Check out CheapMaddenCoins.com. They got the best prices, they got fast delivery, and 24-7 custom support. Be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Texas, and we got our weekend league rewards in a tad bit early. But I saved my pack. I let them marinate it just because I was trying to pull one of these limited time cards from packs, which just so happened to be David Johnson and KJ Wright. EA, can you please stop getting limited time cards for cards that power up sets? Like, I don't know what you guys are doing. I understand you guys don't got a big selection to choose, but if they got a power up set, do not give them a limited time card. Because people don't like that. I don't like that personally. But anyway, that KJ Wright looking mighty nice, man. If you can get that Seahawks tier or team chemistry, whatever the hell they call it, maxed out and get his re react maxed out, 91 zone with unfakeable. Might be the best linebacker in this game. And I might have to do that damn Seattle coach and uniform and stadium set because, like, yo, I need that in my life. As you get an 87 low over Rashard Jones. So, Packs so far are pretty cool, man. 86 overall right tackle, about 25,000 coins. Rashad Jones going for about 50,000. So 75,000 coins in just those two big elite pools. And it doesn't look like we're going to luck up and pull anything out of these packs because that's just how it goes. As we get Mitchell Schwartz and we get a Taylor Gabriel who's going to be fed into that team token set because everybody's speculating that we're going to get flashbacks tomorrow. And if we do... Check out my live stream. We'll be doing Weekend League. We'll be doing flashbacks as well as pulling our gauntlet pack. Now, this Gold Tier 1 Weekend League pack opening would not be possible without these upcoming clips where your boy was going on a rampage. Last week, we went 8-0 to start to start Weekend League out with. And then on Sunday, I finished 8-8. Eight eight. I finished better than Jeff Fisher normally does because I just could not for the sake of me find any offense. But the addition of this Andre Reid has been amazing. I'm probably gonna keep him. I'm about 10 or 30 solos away. I don't know how I got that variance in numbers here, but I'm right, I'm really close to getting the Odo back. I'm really close. I think I'm gonna get Odo back and sell him and keep Andre Reed, bro. This guy has been balling out for me, getting open, catching passes, breaking tackles, and our defense has came to ball for the better part of four or five weeks. Now we did do a little bit of revamping on it. We added one player. We got rid of one guy named Julius Peppers mostly because he just wasn't doing what I needed him to do. And now we're trying out James Harrison. If James Harrison can make plays for me this upcoming weekend league, I'm going to power him up. If he cannot, if he, doesn't do, if he doesn't get sacks, if he doesn't get to the quarterback, if he doesn't force fumbles, you know, if he don't do anything that I think James Harrison should do, I might have to get rid of Richard Davian Clowney because it's a choice between one of those two. Davian Clowney has 85 speed, and then he also has decent block shed. Like, well, I'm good power. Up. 91 block, 95 power. Up, while James Harris is like 93, 93, 95. Like he's amazing. And both those guys powered up can get secure tackling. Now I don't mind playing Clowney out of position, even though he may get pancaked occasionally. So I'm trying to figure out which one is gonna play well for me as Andre Reed gets open again and outruns. I think that was Eric Berry for the touchdown. So down in the comment section below, which guy should I pick up at that right outside linebacker spot? Should I get James Harrison and power him up, or is Clowney going to be that guy? Because Clowney looks kind of scary. He has 85 speed, man. That's going to be kind of cool, and he can block shit. Peppers, having good height, great user, just was not a guy that you could rely on consistently get to the quarterback. And I noticed my opponents who have, like, Donald Penn or... Guys, you would deem not great at that position at the right tackle spot or the left tackle spot. Just blocking consistently him. Like, yeah, okay, all right, we're not really, you're not doing much for me. And then run support, he kind of got pushed around by a bunch of smaller wide receivers and tight ends. I'm like, all right, we're good. So he's gone now. He's officially off the team. If you got James Harrison now, so if you guys want to see him in action this weekend, check out the channel. Subscribe if you guys are new. Enjoy these weekend league highlights, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.
is usually what the defense down by the team is. They're able to convert on three. Throw in his car on third down. Looking for Adams, and it's intercepted.